Illustrator. For this tutorial, we will be using this workspace, and along the way, we will be re referencing the Artboard panel, which is situated here next to my Layers panel. And if you can't see this, you can simply select the panel up here to reveal it. If you don't have the Artboard panel active, you can either skip to the previous video if you have not seen it, or simply come up to the top menu, select Window, and click Artboard to activate your Artboard panel. To follow along with this tutorial, you will need to open this document I have prepared especially for this tutorial. This can be found in the Introduction folder in the Project folder. Now you can download this project folder for free, the link is in the description. So with the project folder open, click Introduction, Artboards, Versions and select the version of Illustrator you're using. In my case it's CC and open the Artboards file and you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so what are artboards in Adobe Illustrator? Well, to put it simply, they are canvases that make up a document. Adobe Illustrator allows you to create multiple artboards in a document. This is useful if you want to create small document spreads, like a leaflet or a flyer, or simply expand your workspace area to create various versions of your artwork. You could even use this method to create digital presentations. So here I have a document open, which is like a small leaflet, and we can see here that this consists of six portrait A4 artboards. And as you can see, I have numbered them and coloured them accordingly. Now if we come over to our side panels and navigate to the artboards panel, you can see this panel contains a list. This list represents all the artboards contained in my current document. As you can see, I am currently zoomed out quite a bit, so we can see the entire document artboard. Though, if I choose a artboard in the panel, let's say Artboard 6 here, come to the grey area, to the right and double click, we can quickly navigate to that particular artboard. If I double click on the artboard name, however, this will enable you to rename the artboard. For example, let's rename this artboard to Orange 6 and click off. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out a little so we can see all of them. Okay, so let's say we want to make some changes to the artboard arrangement. Let's say we want to reorder some of the artboards. For example, I'm going to select Artboard 4 on the Artboard panel, and at the bottom of the Artboard panel, we can see some buttons. With the Artboard 4 selected, I'm going to press the Move Down button a few times. Notice how the artboard moves down on the panel, but nothing really changes on the canvas area. Well, this is because we now have to refresh the arrangement. We can do this by coming to the top right-hand corner of the artboard panel and click on the menu icon, then click Rearrange Artboard. Up will pop a window. For now, we are just going to click OK, and upon click, we will see the artboard has been repositioned. If I want to move it back, I'll simply select the artboard on the panel, but this time click on the Move Up button. Once I'm happy, I'm going to again click on the Artboard Menu Panel Options button, select Rearrange Artboards and click OK, and the page is back where it was to start. OK, so let's say we want to remove an artboard. This can be done by selecting the artboard on the artboard panel, let's say Artboard 3, Simply come to the bottom of the artboard panel and click delete. Now notice how the artwork still remains. So we are going to have to select the objects and then delete them. Though now we have this space where the old artboard was. Just like earlier, if we come to the top right of the artboard panel, click and select rearrange artboard, then click OK, the document will refresh. Excellent. So what if we want to add some artboards? Well, to do this, we simply click a place on the artboard panel where we want to add a new board. For example, I'm going to select Artboard 4 in the panel, then click the New Artboard button on the bottom of the artboard panel. Then I'm going to click on Artboard 5 on the panel and click the Add New Artboard again. But notice, this time, how the artboards are just added on the side. Well, again, if I come to the top right of the artboard panel and click the menu, 
select Rearrange, click OK, the document will refresh and we can see the correct pagination. Nice. I'm just going to undo that as I don't want these pages. Now, what if we want to add a new artboard but in a different size? Well, here we can use the Artboard tool. If we come to the menu on the far left and look towards the bottom, we have the Artboard tool. If we click this, you will notice we go into a new mode where we can attempt to create a new artboard. So to begin, we can either click and drag to create a custom artboard size, or we can come up to the control panel and select from a list of presets. And here we have a lot to choose from. We have some paper sizes, some screen sizes, and some mobile and web screen sizes. But since this is a print document, let's go for a three and upon click, the previously drawn artboard is changed to A3. Then I'm going to come up to the top and change the page orientation to Landscape. Once I'm happy with this, I can press V to activate the selection tool and click to jump back to the normal mode. But notice how it appears oddly placed. Well, again, if I come to the top right of the artboard panel, click the menu, select Rearrange, click OK, the document will refresh and we can see the correct layout. So what if we want to change the page orientation of an existing artboard? Well, to do this, we simply click on an artboard, let's say number two. With the artboard selected, I will come to the top right of the artboard panel, click the menu button. This time, I'm going to select artboard options. Upon click, a different options window will appear. If you look closely, we can see an orientation option. Currently, we can see this is set to portrait. If I click onto landscape and click OK, you will now see the artboard change from portrait to landscape. By now, you should now know what you need to do next. We are going to need to refresh this layout. So again, if I come to the top right of the artboard panel and click the menu, select rearrange, click OK, the document will refresh but notice this time, the artwork on the artboards have not moved with the pages. So in this instance, we are going to have to select the elements on the page and move them into the correct position. For now, I'm simply going to press undo to go back to my previous layout of six artboards. So that's how we can rearrange, remove artboards and use the artboard tool and change the orientation of existing artboards. So currently, my artboards are displayed in three columns here. Now, what if I want to change this? Well, this can be done quite simply. If I come to the top right of the artboards panel and click the menu, select Rearrange, up will pop the familiar options panel. If we look closely, we can see towards the top an option called Layout and a series of icons to the right of this. These icons represent different artboard composition layouts here in Illustrator. So currently we have our layout set to grid by row and with the columns set to three. Let's try changing this. Let's say five and press OK. Now you can see the layout has changed. If we come back to the rearrange menu like earlier, but this time select the grid by column option and enter four rows and click OK, Again, the layout has changed. If we come back to the Rearrange menu again, this time I'm going to select Layout by column, click OK, and you can see the change. I'm simply going to press Undo a few times to go back to my previous layout. So that covers artboards in Adobe Illustrator. In the next video, we will be learning about some vector basics and how we can begin to operate in Adobe Illustrator. So I'll see you in the next video.